What's up YouTube? Chris on Fire420. Gonna do another little guitar lesson, just a quick one. Today we're gonna look at Lullaby for a Saddest by Korn. It's actually played in a different tuning. Uh, it's standard seven string tuning, so it's one step up from what Korn would normally use. And what that is, is B, E, A, D, G, D, E. The intro is played uh, on acoustic guitar normally. So if you have a really defined clean setting or some sort of acoustic pedal, I would definitely suggest using it. I'm going to play the intro and then I'll break it down for you. So that just repeats over and over again before going into the verse. And what's happening there is a power chord on the third string on the second fret. And then you kind of arpeggiate that. So open on the first string, two on the third string, four on the fourth string, and then back to the two on the third string. Second part, open on the first string, two on the third string, open two. And then the two together. Third part, two on the second string, four on the third string, open four. So all three of them together. And the final part, open on the second string, two on the third string, open two. So sorry. Let's put all four of those together. So like I said, you just keep repeating that, and then the end of it is um, just power chords. And that's just second fret, third, first. Strumming pattern's real easy, you'll get that from the song. So let's go into the verse quickly. Pretty simple, what I'm doing there is just open plucking and the 5th string. Sorry, 5th fret on the 2nd string. Notice how I end it on the 7th fret of the 2nd string. And in the verse, what I try to use is like a medium distortion. That way, making a contrast between the verse and the chorus. Because chorus is like full blast, you know. Uh, you want to make a difference there to enunciate the parts of the song. So, in the chorus, it's uh, a very strange chord. I've never seen Monkey or Head use anything like that before. If I had to guess, Head's probably the dude writing that. He has more intellectual kind of <coughs> writing style. It's more in depth. No offense to Monkey, he's awesome too. Anyways, uh, what it is, is 7 on the 2nd string, 6 on the 3rd, 9 on the 4th, 8 on the 5th. Sounds pretty shitty right now because I have my gain turned up from a song I was pr playing previously, so it's really busy and messy. But. My guitar is a bit out of tune too, but whatever. Uh, I'm just ending that on a power chord, 7 and 8, so all together, so he'll keep doing that and just before the end of the chorus going into the verse again, instead of going 7 and 8, he'll go 7 to 5, so the ending part, Alright, so then there's like a little pre-chorus that only happens one time in the song, and what that is, is... So I'll break that down. Two on the third string, one on the first, two, one. So. And then on the third string, open, four, five, four. 
put those two together. And then the last part, three on the second string, two on the third, open two, and then three back on the second string. So let's put all three of those together. Alright, so there's also a little bridge part. Kind of like the build up for the ending part of the bridge. You can put some anticipation into it. That's just an octave open on the first string, two on the third string. And then there's an actual power chord part. Kind of played like staccato or whatever. Uh, that's just open, two, three, seven, six. So. My guitar definitely needs to be tuned. Um, and then there's the last part of the bridge, which is just power chords that are actually strummed wide open. So I'll just play that first. Anyways, I'm on the third string, two, four, five, and then on the second string, two, one. That's basically it. Sorry if I explain it really fast, but there isn't a whole lot to this song. It, it's not very hard. Well, most corn songs aren't. Um, there is another part where he plays the chorus um, in a clean setting, but I already explained the chorus. So that's all. Hopefully you guys are able to take something away from it. I know my guitar lessons aren't the best, but... If you listen to it and take your time with it and go through it with me, you'll definitely learn the song and that's the whole point. Anyways guys, until next time, see you later.